Hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of Tales from the Typecase. I'm Greg Smith, the proprietor of Blind Pig Press, and tonight we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, at Blind Pig Press, we've been making some typecases of late, and we wanted to take you through uh, the transfer of the type from the old typecase to the new typecase. So it's sort of a a uh, special edition in our hearts because um, we love type and we love type cases and uh, we've always wanted to make our own and so we did now. So come on along and we'll have a look. Of late we've been making our own type cases and some people dream of fame and fortune. I dream of type cases. So this is the first California job case that we did, and we cut the frame out of quarter inch Baltic birch on our glow forge, and then we cut the pieces on the inside, so the dividers, we cut using the glow forge using an eighth inch ply, and we made them so they fit together sort of thusly, uh, these were some experimental pieces, so they're not going together as well as the final one did. But um, for this one, we ended up putting a solid piece of um, masonite on the bottom. So basically everything is cut on the glow forge for this one except the base. And if we flip it over, you'll see we have the masonite on the bottom as one piece. We experimented and this is the result and now it's all filled with type. Uh, it's held together very well and again everything on this one is cut on the glow forge, the whole thing. And we even cut the eighth inch ply for the bottom pieces. Okay. I should have showed this to you before I filled it up with type, but I was so excited to get it filled up with type. So this is a good workhorse font, Franklin Gothic, 18 point, bold, condensed. And it's why we wanted to take it out of the old three quarter job case and put it in a full type case because we do tend to use it a fair bit. Okay. So we're going to test this one out for a while and see how it goes, but we're quite pleased so far with the look of it and the feel of it. So yay to Glowforge, yay for laser cutting, and yay for type cases. So before we start transferring the type, we're going to give the type case a little bit of a vacuum. And I have this new attachment that is supposed to help vacuum out type cases. So we're going to give it a try.
gets a dirty job done. And you'll see that there are still some little pieces, slivers of type left. And sometimes I miss things. Other times the type was caught underneath the edge of the type case. You'll also notice that there's a piece off the bottom <laughs> that's come off, and this is probably the main reason why. You can see it's a little piece of veneer, probably about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Also, there was a little piece over here that was broken, so putting it in the new type case has been a good thing, and we can use this uh, this font a lot more. So you'll see that we have a bunch of extra characters left over. Uh, looks like a Bodoni font. Uh, so we have a P and we have a numeral zero. I also forgot uh, a question mark to put in there and an ampersand. And we also have, uh, where was it here? We have some coppers thick coppers and we have some if I can find it in here we have a brass as well so a thin spacer I can't find it right now I'll incorporate it back into the type case when I can and the other stuff would go into the hell box well there we have it another edition of tales from the type case and as we said, this one was a special one close to our hearts and close to our minds. So uh, thanks to all those folks who have subscribed. Uh, thanks to all the folks who have commented and let us know that they like what's going on. Um, if you haven't liked, subscribed, or commented, please do. Tell us what you're thinking. Uh, send us money. Send us uh, beef. Anything like that. Okay? So... We'll see you next week for another edition of Tales from the Typecase.